good afternoon you are watching the policy times world's first policy and development media and you are watching the global innovator show this is a show mentored by dr p shekhar uh, who himself is an innovator and has a lot of products under his innovation kitty uh, brought a lot of uh, changes and revolution in the country and the world and that is why this show is dedicated to identify and select a couple of innovators or companies which has got some product which are disrupting the whole ecosystem and we have interviewed and uh, you know selected couple of innovators whose products are today uh, world famous and bringing lot of positive contribution in different countries i have uh, today let me introduce galileo innovations private limited one of the it service provider uh, you know working in the field of data detection verification and authentication and i have the head of special projects mr badrinath mr badrinath welcome to our show thank you mr akram thank you very so, much so uh, the first question uh, mr an obvious question mr badrinath is kindly introduce yourself and your professional journey and also uh, about your organization yeah i am badrinath uh, i have been in the it industry do i am a mechanical engineer came into being uh, with the solution which leads to the innovations stream of ac there are a lot of technologies that work in this world and the innovations is much faster however they do not come to the fore in real time thanks to policy times that you have taken this initiative let me begin from that perspective uh, we have been in this industry where we are trying to say that the data that is in the market today which is growing has to have some kind of a relevance for its value it is a very niche subject wherein we are trying to introduce a physical connect to the growing databases display databases and somewhere you have to have a connect which says that the data that you are viewing a user is viewing or building has to have a, a confirmation from the adjudicators so there is no disputes on a data that they, that are shared among the people this does not happen today so we called it as digifix we have been working on this for last 12 years company which came into existence in 2019 is a part of g group of companies in bangalore and g galileo innovations is part of the g group we are we have a business interest in uh, reality we are into infrastructure we are into e-commerce and uh, galileo innovation typically works in uh, the technology area the subject matter here is how to provide value to the digital data in the market and uh, this is some subject which is still untouched i don't know for what reasons we took this as our initiative to bring this uh, data value proposition as a data chain thing we have a small team today and we are in the process of uh, going into the market in coming days this platform thanks to you mr akram again the policy uh, uh, frameworks what you going to come it deals with it and uh, i'd like to start from here perhaps with my presentation so that it will be easier for thank us to thank you so much uh, that is really wonderful and one of you see the kind of services unique services so my question is what are the kind of products and services uh, you are offering and how unique are your products how okay. different are and how is it going to benefit your potential clients in addition what are the sectors also you are catering to all the services okay as i said earlier you data. can share the ppt the data is an important issue it's a king we understand that very well so the connect to the data is perpetual meaning that every second we are generating billions and billions of bytes of data but they don't have a relevance to an existing physical layer to guarantee or warranty the data's authenticity so we are typical in this domain where we are saying anything that be, uh, connect between a manufacturer and a uh, consumer or to the government who is the owner of the data has to give absolute guarantee to the consumer or the user that word ab absolute or conclusive is a subject matter for which we have obtained an ip and it claims that uh, conclusive ownership of conclusive ownership of the data the application areas are plenty Look at it. Say educational segment. 
can the university stand guarantee that they issue a document to a student and it should be done on spot we at uh, gallery innovations are working on what is called as conclusive evidence and accountability any data shared among two people should have accountability of the transaction towards that end we said instead of right to information there can be a option as right to product information which is apolitical in this process what we do is a, a data that is generated by a manufacturer or a issuer we link it to for detection verification and authentication on spot all the three need to happen at simultaneous process the vision is to create a value chain for digital data and with a physical entity connect this particular uh, subject is not available as it to the best of our knowledge in the market and rpi can be a requirement in coming days as a personal uh, consent based uh, data uh, uh, aggregation now we have systems like blockchains which works on but then it definitely does not work in the way what we are trying to say just for information the data that is growing by 2030 the last line is something like people aged about 6 uh, will be totally digitally connect, connected so we have a module we have a process which we call it as digifix digital and physical it's a layer for transactions to connect to the data that is available with the consent of the users currently it is not so and there are question of uh, trust in governments okay the basic uh, uh, essential requirement for anybody who is transacting data they should have a moral legal uh, obligation of the data owners so they are giving a clear data to us and who sort is recipient they should have the access to it without any second thought so it could be private it could be government we are saying do not provide inaccurate information so this comes around because the study show that yes there is a lot of data losses human error as well as system errors others of course but in the area what we have demarcated is very high in the so here we are saying that we bring in rpi right to product information which definitely is a game changer in authentication domain our mission is to be as a typical profilic uh, gateway for authentic material information as part of evidence is a fundamental right and we do believe that yes there is no such concept of evidence material evidence to be um, with the consent of the user even if you go to forensic levels eventually that comes based on the circumstantial evidences the act of evidence we are trying to say that establish since the data is generated by an individual they should be the absolute owners so this should be part of the as a policy issue it could be part of the fundamental rights in coming days it is more powerful probably than whatever systems currently available and the ownership the value of the data increases if we are bringing this subject into the market now what is the data value a typically conclusive proof of ownership i need to establish if i am share the data with somebody i must be the owner and i must say that yes i own it and i am the one who has the recipient who has the beneficiary in today's world there are so many products which are there which we call it as duplicates fakes counterfeit products which runs into several trillion dollars we are saying empower the consumer right it's a transactional value information it's a right actually uh, rights of an individual for enforcement of rights of an individual the redressals what happens out of the uh, processes that comes up it should be fast it should not be delayed so that the judi uh, judiciary need not take too much of time on uh, deciding on the authenticity of the information that they receive of course it definitely fortifies the governance value it's a long term uh, vision of ours just to understand we lose something like 1 lakh 5000 crore every year due to all kinds of uh, fakes that comes into market it could be product it could be information it could be anything else connected with which we are seeing it it's a global uh, subject so we believe that yes rpi right to product information is the need of the hour which can take this forward into market typically it's a to create a value for the digital data 
it's a seamless end to end process and all the stakeholders in the system will get the benefit of track trace verify and be sure it on spot how does it uh, function we said yes origin discovery origin discovery is something which is a missing link in the entire uh, data security worldwide what if i have say a data with me and which i want a verification instantly instantly on spot all we do is a facilitate the link between the owner and the recipient and it could be connected with manufacturing services consumers government who so it is the trust factor of the stakeholders for the information uh, that they are receiving becomes absolute of course absolute is a subject of a subjective word but then yes it's information rights empowerment so how does it work just for understanding purpose did you fix whosoever have uh, the system who are wrapping our system today they will come under the rpi then the data that they own which is known to them in whatever the fashion they want to put it is made available to the end user through a platform and then it's a mobile application or anything else that they are verifying well connected with the information of the manufacturer that is rendered to the end user which is conclusive meaning there's no denial by the manufacturer or say typically fmcg and retail segment where there is substantial uh, fake products in the market the manufacturer should not deny and the consumer should be absolutely right because we pay tax the government should involve to say yes we are the one we are controlling this uh, system so that the fakes do not go to the end user there are markets plenty of markets open to us we have been working on this for quite some time and we have the patents now in our hand to go ahead further the these are very new generation solutions that comes into it it's a diversified market it goes into papers documents metals plastic name name anything else that comes into the pervasive uh, system to look at what we do under rpi we have what is called a digifix which use the digital and physical data connect for to ensure that we have created a product as those which is called as document originality verification encryption system then for we use nanotechnologies for identification of uh, auto components we build our own spms required for specific uh, kind of a process that goes into it we have in tie up with uh, various other international partners we have exclusive rights on certain technologies collective ips that we work on what is the challenge for this okay uh, we are a startup 2019 we came into being though we have been in industry the subject of right to uh, information product information is and consumerism which is a very important thing is a social engineering typically and uh, we don't see many people in this space though there are number of companies who do the brand protection programs we are into social engineering where we are saying connect the consumer who are the largest beneficiaries of the uh, rules and regulations of the manufacturer as well as the government so if there is anything fake available who should be responsible is our question we are saying eliminate the risk of getting the fake into the hands of consumer by virtue of right to product information this social value engineering is something which is unique it's in niche segment to the best of our knowledge there is nobody at this time just to give ethical what exactly is the conclusion of competent proof of ownership in case i have to go to a client has to go to or a consumer has to go to court he has to or she has to subject the entire detail to the court with the court takes its own uh, procedures to come in what if what if if rpi is in position and a product that is measured confirms that yes it's genuine there is no court case simple layman's term i'm trying to put it across this gives the referential data integrity it's a very huge market it's a data analytics big data analytics which is emerging today which will be required we believe that yes it will help in the rapid decision support that's the best thing that can happen so that we will save time the manufacturer will get benefited because their brand value will be better of course it's a tactical suppose uh, system for the blockchain methodologies where we are saying that yes we can connect to the all transactor but then they need to have the connect to the original or origin which is a missing link and this comes under as the authentic value governance yeah okay sir um, what would be your message to this because this is an era post covid pandemic era is uh, the era of collaboration 
across the value chain, we have to collaborate with different stakeholders uh, and different, uh, you know, individual. What would be your message to your potential clients? What would be your message to your potential investors? Uh, what would be your message to different users uh, and, and other, the whole ecosystem? Fine. It is uh, very, very well known that consumer is the king. I'll go with from that per, uh, perspective. A consumer need to be serviced, which is a trust factor which the manufacturer and the governance issues have to be taken care of. If I'm a manufacturer, I will definitely adopt to see that my revenue does not get lost because of the inclusion or uh, inclusion of others into the system, part one. Part two, the consumer is absolute guarantee. The price parities, the taxation issues to the government, it helps them. This market is very large. Two segments. One, the data. What if we have a process through RPI which will protect the manufacturer, the data owners, to say that, yes, we give the value data, it's a non-existent system today in the world. From in the investor perspective, yes, state line, it's a long-term pro program, nothing short. We'll have to go ahead and build this ecosystem. And of course, there is a limitation, a policy issues comes into game. And best part that can happen globally is the privacy angle we are trying to eliminate because we are talking in terms of consent-based transaction. If it's a consent-based transaction, there is no denial of two parties who engage into the system who can deny that we did not transact. It doesn't happen in the financial market as well today. You have hundreds of uh, applications running, but there's no connect to the financial uh, institution for a transaction that happened in the digital world. Similarly, a document given to somebody, we do not know who actually issued under whose authority. So we are trying to connect the issuer perpetually and permanently through various technologies. We use nanotechnologies, we use biometrics, we use various other things, and we have our own system uh, a platform. Hopefully, we will be giving a new data format itself, something like uh, maybe a, a PDF or doc, which is our own, which may be known, we have five for it, called as Bharat Image Value Transform. It's a very new process. So this can protect the Indian uh, data. That's our belief. The data centers, the owners of data centers, the investors who are coming into it, they'll be absolute beneficiary. Ultimately, of course, in the ecosystem, when the consumer gets benefit, the manufacturer and so on and so forth. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we had uh, Mr. Badrinath, who heads the special projects at uh, Galileo Innovations Private Limited. I'll come to Dr. Shekhar now. Dr. Shekhar, your uh, expert comment on the startup, on, on, on the actual organization, and the project and the product that the company. Thank you, Akram. Thanks to Mr. Badrinath for introducing a very new and very innovative product. Now, where does this product come in picture? Today is a world of data. Today, wherever we go, there's a flooding of data. And according to Badrinath, here is a system he has got by which the data can be properly authenticated. So this would not only be useful for people who are uh, into various services, maybe on a slightly larger level, this may also be very useful for law enforcement agencies, cybersecurity, and you know this 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 is this wild market which is available there, which will have you know its own uh, um, usage. Yes, the, uh, the the products have to be presented very properly on a much more uh, you know end-to-end -end basis. Yes, he has got a lot of product. Maybe one or two more sessions we have to go through, but this will be a very good beginning, and uh, I am sure. You know, the company uh, is going to go global and with a person like Badrinath, they will present it properly. And uh, it is a very good product and very good system to ensure that, again, India gets into the, in, into the uh, league in the global market because it's a high time that in, in, in software, IT services, India gets its uh, uh, presence felt uh, globally. Thank you and congratulations to Akram, congratulations to Badrinath. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So uh, this was uh, Galileo Innovations Private Limited. Uh, stay tuned. We will meet with another innovator, another expert to talk on how another innovation can disrupt the world. Thank you. Keep watching the policy time.